Hey everyone, um, welcome today. I'll be doing Lead Code by Weekly Contest 80. It's been quite a while, I'm mainly due to school exams, but hopefully I should be back. Load please. Well then, hopefully I don't miss any letters. It's one uppercase. Fossils. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, binary search. Um, was it? Four zero three two zero two. I am one higher than. Okay. Oh, what did I record? This is worded really badly. You can replace any number of data set with what is new? Oh. Okay. Any number of Let's read this question first.
product of its sum and length. Can't I just do two point of this? Yeah, okay. Sum and length. Alright, that was a very easy key for. We're going to use C plus plus in case. Okay. True, false, true. All right, that's it. It's only been nine minutes, so I can't actually tell um, how I've done yet. I didn't make any mistakes, so uh, that seems good.
So I'll go through the solutions. Okay, this problem is literally just implement exactly um, what the thing is. There's not really much to think about. I did some, <laughs> you can use functions or like ASCII codes or some sort of way to check um, letters and digits better. So I think, for example, in Python, I could have used ASCII lowercase and ASCII uppercase, for example, and that, in hindsight, that might have been better, but this is good enough. Um, okay, in this problem, in this problem, let's just consider each spell individually, because that's what we have to do. If we have a spell with strength of x, and we need a um, potion of strength with y, and we need the product of x and y to be, I think, was it larger than or equal to success? Yep. Uh, if we rearrange this third equation, that basically tells us that y is greater than or equal to the ceiling of success divided by x. Uh, which means that for each spell, based on this uh, ceiling of this uh, fraction, that will tell us which potions, um, which potions will be successful with it or not. So for example, if success is 15 and my current spell has strength of 4, then the potions that will fit with it are exactly the potions with a strength of at least four. And once I've found, now I just need to answer queries of the form, how many potions are there with a strength greater than or equal to x? Uh, the way I've done this is by um, sorting this, position, this potions list, and then I can binary search um, to find the first spell that works, and then, yeah, I'll put the answer. Um, since potions is at most 10 to the 5, another approach would be a, a prefix summary that would also work. Um, let's have a look at how I've done. Okay, so that might be second place. Uh, we'll see. Uh, in this question, I just... I don't know, I found this extremely difficult to read. But basically, um, it's good enough just to try... So, for example, sub is length 4. We know that after the replacements, it still has to be length four, and all we need to check is we need we can check all substrings of length four of s, and then check if it's possible to transform sub into that particular substring. And um, in order for that to work, we need for each character for each corresponding character in sub and the character in s, we either need those characters to be equal or we need some mapping of that character to the other character in this mappings. So all I've done here is, first, I've created a 2D array, which tells us which elements can map from one element to the other. I will brute force over all substrings in S of the, of the relevant length. Then if each character matches, um, so if, if there's a character that's not equal and the mapping doesn't exist, then it's not possible. But if it is possible for every character, then the answer is true. And that's it. Um, in this question, um, finally in this question, this is just a very simple two-pointer question. Um, the main idea is that uh, since all of our elements are positive, if we were to like extend our array, um, then the score would must increase because the length would increase and the sum would also increase. And similarly, if we were to contract, so for example, to get rid of, say, the leftmost element of our current array, then the score would definitely decrease. And that means that we can just do a simple two-pointer algorithm. Um, for each rightmost point in the subarray, we will keep um, what's the leftmost. Uh, we'll keep the leftmost. Um, point that works. Um, yeah, so the way I tend to implement um, two pointers is as is just what we return, else like the leftmost endpoint of subarray, R is like the rightmost endpoint of subarray. Current is just like the current sum. Then um, when we extend the rightmost, when we extend the rightmost element of the subarray, 
we will increment current. And then while our score is too large, we will get rid of the leftmost element and then increment our answer. And that's it. There is an alternative. Um, we can notice if we fix the leftmost element, um, then the subarrays that work, um, the rightmost positions will form some contiguous range. Um, and we can find that range using binary search. But that would have an n log n complexity, whereas two pointers will only have an o n complexity. But the binary search will still work. Anyway, uh, let's time to figure out, find out how I did. So it looks like that might be third place. So I think this might, oh, this does have lead code China. So I think I'm second in lead code US and third overall. So that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.